Hey, 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 hey. What it do, what it do, what it do. This is your boy, once again. Morning video. This is KQ, KC Boxing Network. Oh, yes. I got me a little rest. Not much, but just a little bit. But first, let's take care of business. I want to thank everyone for showing up in my live streams, sharing my videos, uh, 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 supporting me and my daughter uh, with the Super Chats Cash App and Pay Motherfucking Pal. And I want to thank you because no one, I repeat, no one is getting rich these days. And I do. Trust me, I do understand. Don't forget, we are family. Don't forget, I am one of you all. Yes, I'm from the inner city. Yes, I grew up with a, 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 a not so bright uh, 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 future or not so bright uh, childhood. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to amount to shit. Because I'm going to tell you, them same guys that stood right by me are doctors now. They are lawyers now. Just thought I'd throw that out to you. Now, let's talk about the video at hand. Ortiz versus Maurice Hooker. In other words, Mo Hooker. Yes, he's on the toolage of fat ass. Mr. Burger King, McDonald's, Church's Chicken. Uh, 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 Kentucky Fried Chicken. Hey, Chipotle. <laughs> That's fat ass Brian McIntyre. That's right. And he will be taking on Virgil Ortiz this Saturday. In other words, fucking tomorrow. Now, this is the question. Does he have the moxie to beat a uh, 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 Maurice Hooker? Well, Oscar De La Hoya believe he does. Now, Brian, Brian, Brian McIntyre. Well, fuck that. You know what? Fuck that. Big Mac. All right? Big Mac. He believes that his fighter has a chance. And yes, everybody got a punch of chance. But let's take Maurice Hooker for a minute. Maurice Hooker fights tall. Now, let me rephrase that. He should be fighting tall because he has the height. He has the reach. Now, the power is mediocre. mediocre. Let's just be honest with that shit. Then once fatigue sets in, Maurice Hooker start to what? Slap with his punches. They didn't have no zip on him. No, 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 no moxie on him. And that's going to be his downfall. Because, see, he's fighting a young man named Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz is a little bit hungrier than Mo Hooker. Virgil Ortiz don't need the high accolades. He don't need the big name. All he want to do is fight all he want to do is stand in the center of that motherfucking square circle and fight that's all he wants now keep this in mind Oscar De La Hoya and Virgil Ortiz beats Maurice Hooker he's going straight to the top okay I bite Oscar everybody can go straight to the top if they win if you keep on winning and winning and winning. But let's talk about it. Now, Little Reborn into the fight game and pretty much having an experience to sport at the top level, both as a boxer and a promoter. Oscar De La Hoya, who liked the dresses, the, 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 the fish nets and the white and black pantyhoses. 
He likes to believe that he has a flair for recognizing talent. Okay. I bite again. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Now, now, with that comes the belief that in Virgil Ortiz Jr., a star in the making, or a star has been fucking born, whatever you want to call it, is on display this weekend. That's right. It's time for both guys to show up and, yes, show the fuck out. Now, on paper, on paper, when we're talking about resumes, in which I don't like to get into, but I will quote them bitches, all right? Now, on paper, everyone keeps jolting him down that he's the best, that the second coming, that Hoya noted of the unbeaten welterweight contender, whom his Golden Boy Promotions Company has proudly represented throughout Ortiz's pro career. He has to get past Maurice Hooker. He's a real test. No, he's not. That's not no real test. At 147? No, that's not a real test. See, what been a real test would have been uh, him and Reese's pro grade, in which he bitched out which he knew from the beginning that he couldn't make the weight. Then he come with a catch weight. Regis said, okay, we can do that. Then he come with another catch It's all bullshit. And it's all led by that 400-pound motherfucking gorilla. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Brian McIntyre. Oh, man, what are my manners? <laughs> wink, motherfucking wink. Now, Ortiz. Now, he don't have a lot of fights on his belt. He's only 16 and 0, with 16 KOs. Now, now where I'm from, it's called perfect. Where I'm from, it's called a perfect motherfucking record. Now, let's take a look at uh, uh, Maurice Hooker. Let's look at his uh, 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 so-called record or resume or whatever the fuck y'all want to call it uh, today. Uh, let's see, uh, Maurice Hooker is 27, 1, and 3, with 18 KOs. Now, I want to say that was good. I want to say that was bad. I will say that he's right on course in getting his ass whooped. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those who think I should go for the black man. Well, no, I'm not. All right? Now, you heard it from the horse's mouth. You heard it directly from KQKC. All right? I'm not no black militant motherfucker, nothing like that. All right? I am a boxing fan. All right? Not a fan boy. And right now, I think that uh, Virgil Ortiz is a better fighter. Why? Right? Now, one thing about it is that Virgil Ortiz, he would keep coming. He would leave that in the ring. He would not let up on anybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. He would keep coming and coming. He would get under that jab. He would use his angles to pop your ass with that right hand. Yes, he will. He will be under uh, 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 some type of investigation from the big bear himself. Brian McIntyre, and that investigation means that we're going to watch his ass, and that's why he said he wanted Crawford next, that's why he said that, hey, they studying me, they studying what I can do and what I cannot do, and guess what, he knows how to change up, alright, so study him all you want to, alright, you're going to get a big ass surprise come Saturday night, now, I'm not a bad man, never was, why? Because I hate to lose. Why? Because I ain't got no money anyway. So you think I'm just going to throw it away to give it to you on somebody that I'm not fighting, but I got faith in somebody else? Uh Uh-uh. You don't bet like that. You don't bet and say, well, I'm going to put my faith in him and in Pete, but he might be sore. He might be a a, a shoulder injury, and he don't know, um, won't tell us about, or, you know, just not to fuck up everything. Because I never forget, 
with Floyd Joy Mayweather Jr. said on that stage one night. And that's the night after he whooped Manny Pacquiao's ass. When Manny Pacquiao was talking about, I my shoulder hurt. My shoulder hurt. Yeah, that was because you missed all the left and rights. Of course that hurt. But Floyd said, no fighter in his time to date has ever walked in the ring 100% perfect. And I'll tell you, like Floyd said, my, my hands were hurt. You know, in the back, sparring, whatever. So, no excuses. Uh-uh. No, no. No excuses. And you know what? No more victories. Now, who came up with that shit? I don't know. And you know what? I really don't care. All I care about is win, lose, or draw, or a motherfucking knockout. Just like Deontay Wilder. Everybody praying that he retired. Everybody praying that, oh, why you fight Dylan White then? Then then we'll uh, go ahead and fight uh, Anthony John. That's what they want. And we're going to talk about that too today. All right? Now, as I keep this shit moving, I know, I know, this is a video. But hell, I ain't through yet, goddammit. So if it take an hour to do a video, good. So damn what? Now, now, uh, 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 like I said, Maurice Hooker, all right? He's 27, 1, and 3, all right? Now, they will collide this Saturday in a battle of Dallas bred welterweights. Now, keep in mind, these both guys are from Texas. Now, what would a Texas boxing fan, not fanboy, do? And I'll tell you what they do. Don't sit there and say, well, I'm going to play the black fighter because he's black. No, that's no type of business. No, that's no type of way of doing things. All right? It's time to grow the fuck up. All right, it's time to sit there and talk about it when it's necessary to talk about it. All right, don't make it your home. Don't make it your only conversation. All right, and goddamn it, we ain't going back no damn Africa. They don't even like us over there. Now, let's keep this moving. Now, the bite mark, the bout, I'm sorry, the bout, it will marks, mark the first homecoming of both boxers since 2019. Mo Hooker, Maurice Hooker, stayed in top rank area. Vegas. You know, stayed in the uh, 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 compounds, the compounds of top rank. He ain't been in that chicken coop with Terrence yet. But Terrence gonna have a company pretty soon. It's called Telefino Lopez. Because he is and will be in that doghouse. Now, one more thing, all right? With the Texas bread, all right? Now, Ortiz, he fought in his true hometown of Grand Prairie, Texas, scoring a six round knockout on former title challenger Antonio Orozoco, all right? That was in August of 2019. At the time, it was the deepest that Ortiz had been extended as a pro. Since going seven rounds before forcing Samuel Vargas to uh, pretty much uh, 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 wilt and they clash last July at Fantasy Springs, uh, 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 um, uh, Indio, California, or something like that. All right? Hooker's last hometown appearance resulted in the first loss of his career. The, pre- the previous unbeaten junior welterweight titles suffered a six-round knockout at the hands of Jose Ramirez in their July 2019 WBC and WBO title unification bout in Arlington, Texas. Don't your ass sleep on Jose Ramirez, all right? I'm just letting you know that, okay? Because when you hear his name, start ringing like a motherfucker, all right? Remember, KQKC told us so. 
Now, now, a first round knockout of Uriel Perez in December of 2019 as he now campaigns in the welterweight division. Many have the 22 year old Ortiz pegged as boxing's next big thing, which might be true. He can box on the inside. He can brawl on the inside. Ortiz can box on the outside if necessary. But he likes to cut off the ring and come right at you. And there you go. He will initiate the fight. Then you got motherfucker Phil Jackson, square shoulder motherfucker, uh, clothes hanger motherfucker wearing Maurice Hooker. That's scared to let his hands go when he got a long reach and a very good jab. But I tell you what, that motherfucker won't let it go Saturday. Cause see, when a motherfucker get tired of getting beat upside the head, when a motherfucker get tired of getting slapped around like a hoe, they let it go. Now, you, you hear what I'm saying? Ho, let it go. And that's when he gonna start letting it go. And then we gonna have a fight on our hands. And yes, I will be calling that fight before Ricky E245 sit there and ask me today, well, thank you, Gary, are you calling that fight? You know, he always start a lot of shit. But that's my guy. That's my guy. I support that brother always. All right? Now, and he support my channel always. Now, many have the 22-year-old Ortiz pig, like I said. That's the next big thing. And which he should be. He should be. Because he working hard to get to where he need to be. Now, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to close. I say this from experience. No other promoter right now can say that. Now, this is Donna Hoyer explaining uh, what is at stake for Ortiz this weekend. If he beats Maurice Mo Hooker, he's going straight to the top. There are a lot of welterweights out there not waiting in line to fight him. There are fighters like the WBO welterweight timeless, Terrence, Bud, Blue Black, Chicken Coop, Sitting Motherfucker, Crawford, who have the championship pedigree. A lot of fighters out there who are in a hurry to fight him. Virgil Ortiz is on a great knockout streak and with the abilities as far as he wants to go. It's up to him. He has the ingredients. He has the work ethic. He has the talent. He just has to go out there and grab it. Now, the thing about Mr. Ortiz, do he have that tenacity to go out there and grab it? Do he have that Earl Spence work ethic? Do a motherfucker have to ring his clock and tell him, wake up? We got to go running. Or do he already be out there running when they wake up? There's a difference. Your conditioning is a contribute to your success. Remember that. Oh, baby. I am KQKC Boston Network. If you like the content of this video, oh, baby, hit that like button. And hit subscribe. And that way, you will get notified each and every time I come on. And that's Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. And also, Saturday mornings, call and talk to the singing OG. Tell me what's on your mind in the sport of boxing. And that's it. I don't want to hear shit else about your life. I want to know about how you feel about the sport of boxing. I want to know how do you feel about the makeup in the sport of boxing, the governor bodies, how Bob Aaron and, and, and all the other motherfuckers, ESPN too, jumps in and lies.
I want to know everything that we went over this week. All right? If you can remember that and other fights and other creators, then bring it to the table. Dial that motherfucking number and talk to me. And with that in mind, I'm on. I am on to the next one. So I greet you with the ancient word of peace. I said I'm Lego. Shout out to the almighty LDBC. Shout out to all my subscribers, my old ones and my damn new ones. Peace and love to everybody. I will see you at 12.30 p.m. Central Time today. Oh, yeah. Be there. Or be motherfucking square. And stay tuned for another video.